and welcome back to my channel Jess Jill and About. Today I'm going to be doing something I have never done before and that is a Halloween um, costume type tutorial. As you've seen in the title below it's going to be a doll kind of look so I'm going to start by first doing like a pretty kind of doll and then show you how you can turn it into a more Halloween doll. But again I'm new to this kind of video so if you guys enjoy it make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, but yeah, so I am going to get straight into it. Alright, to start off this look, you really want to make your face kind of one tone. So I started this by using my BB cream, it's a Maybelline one. And I just put it all over my face with my hands because <laughs> that's the way to do it. And then, yeah, so you just want to try and make it so that it's as um, even as you can. And then because I have dark under circles, I put on some concealer and as you can tell I don't really know what I'm doing so I just spread it apart with all of my fingers until it kind of blended in and looked alright. I then used this powder, it's kind of like a setting powder I think, and I just put it on top of the concealer and the BB cream. And I used quite a bit this time because I realised it made my face look quite white the more I used and that's kind of the skin tone you want to go for when you're doing a dull look. So to make my face even whiter I got my white eyeshadow and I started to apply it over my whole face. Realised that brush was too small and I got a bigger one and yeah I just kept going back to the white eyeshadow and kept applying it until I got the colour that I wanted. Okay, so next you want to do your eyes, so I just used like a pinky kind of eyeshadow colour just because it was kind of like a not so out there colour that you kind of find on most dolls, I don't know, you can really use whatever colour you want and I just kept going until it was noticeable. Then I went and filled in my eyebrows a little bit, um, in no particular way, I used the same brush as I did for my eyelids and I kind of just used like a brown eyeshadow colour not really knowing what I was doing and then it appears that I went over with a lighter eyeshadow on my lids. So the next step is quite an important one and that is your, oh what's it called, blush I think. You want to make your cheeks really really pink, like as pink as you can. I had so much trouble with it but keep going until you get bright pink cheeks. Once you got your blush you're going to move on to your eyelashes. Um, so I just used, I don't even know what it was, some kind of mascara and I just kept applying and applying and applying because dolls generally have really big eyelashes. If you've got fake ones, definitely use them. Um, I just didn't have any and I've never used them so I figured most people probably don't have fake eyelashes sitting around at home. So yeah, just keep going around with um, mascara. Then I did my bottom lashes and I think this is like the first time I've ever put mascara on my bottom lashes. So it took me a while, I don't even know if this is the right way, but I just kept going back and forth between them until it kind of seemed alright. <laughs> So once I was happy with that, I went around with some eyeliner, <laughs> as you could see by that little motion. I also don't know how to use eyeliner. Um, I think I probably needed to sharpen that pencil or something like that, but I just kept going until they looked dark. Um, I had a lot of troubles with this because, again, I don't use eyeliner, so if you guys first of all know how to apply mascara and eyeliner, you'll already be better at doing this doll look than I am. So next we move on to something scary and that is lipstick. So I had this really bright red lipstick which was really useful because it goes with the doll look. Um, you kind of want to make them your lips a lot smaller than how big they actually are and try overextend them if you can. Um, again you just want to keep going with this until they look like little doll lips. Sorry I'm just looking at what I was doing. I'm very weird so have fun with it. After the lipstick you're done with the makeup, you just want to work on kind of some jewellery and doing your hair. So I put in some earrings, I put my hair up and plaited it, and then I put a um, necklace on. Alright guys, so this is my kind of normal doll look. Um, I suppose it is kind of creepy. I suppose if you find dolls creepy, it's creepy anyway. Um, but as you saw, I have no idea what I'm doing with makeup, so literally Anybody can do this as long as you've got eyeshadow, like everything I did was eyeshadow except for like mascara, eyeliner and 
lipstick. But anyway, I think it turned out really well, a lot better than I expected. Um, but yeah, so you can pretty much just wear this with like a pretty dress and everyone's going to know that you're a doll. Um, putting ribbons in your hair, I don't have any, but if you do, that'll obviously top it off. Um, but now, gets the exciting part, is I'm going to turn this pretty doll look into a dead doll. So if you guys want to find out how to turn your pretty doll look into a dead doll, then keep on watching. Okay, so to start the dead doll look, you just want to use something like a um, eyeliner, and I lined it around my lips, and then extended it out so it kind of looked like I was um, what's the word? Kind of like I was being sewn back together. So I just drew the lines and then the little stitchings after that. And then I smudge them. You don't want this to look clean. It's going to look messy, kind of like you've been dead for a while. And then just keep drawing lines and stitching them up until you're happy with your um, stitches. And of course, keep smudging them as well. So the next thing you want to do is go around your eyes with like a kind of blue, grey and purple eyeshadow. This will kind of make you look a little bit bruised and also like you've had the life sucked out of you. So keep going with that until you're happy. So the next thing you want to do is try and make your um, mascara run. I should have mentioned earlier you want to use water, not waterproof mascara. Um, so I got a little brush and I put it in some water and dipped around my eye then added some more um, mascara and then I kind of just kept going between the brush and the mascara until I got it to run down my face. So now what you want to do is kind of add some blood to your dead doll look. So I just got some red face paint and I put it with some water so that it was very um, runny. And I just went over any places that I thought looked like they needed some blood and then I added it to my eyes as well and to my mouth. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is my final dead doll, creepy doll look. Um, as you can see, going from the base and then just letting everything pretty much drop down, giving yourself some cuts. I honestly think it turned out really well. Coming from someone who does not do anything with their face whatsoever, I think it's turned out really well. And just proving to you guys that if you guys are you know, not the most creative type and you're like, I couldn't do any of those things, then come on I just did it you can do it and you can wear this with like more raggedy kind of stuff or if you're wearing like an old dress that you don't care about you can put the blood on it you can just kind of rip it put mud on it do what you want just be careful though if you're doing this and you're wearing something you don't want to get rid of I am such a klutz luckily I didn't get any kind of like blood on it I got blood on my hands but yeah so this is my creepy scary dead doll look so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up i'm super proud and i hope you guys are proud of my look too as i said at the start the next two weeks is going to be halloween videos so there's probably going to be six to eight of them um over the next two weeks so definitely thumbs up if you want to see more of those and if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button below if you want to yeah. Sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder because I think it's just so exciting. Ah, oh, there's so much more you could do, so much less you could do. Anyway, before I keep rambling off about it, thank you for watching and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Goodbye!